There's a lot of fancy places to eat, but sometimes you just want a hamburger sandwich, Mark. Hey, I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm columnist Mark Hader. Today's episode of Wine and Dine, Brad, is brought to you by Jake's Peruvian Guitar Picks. Ladies and gentlemen, these are made from 100% Peruvian plastic carved out by real Peruvians. You can't get better than this, That's uh, the, Jake's Peruvian Guitar Picks. You'll be a star in, in, in just a moment. Hey, there's all these great restaurants we've been going to all year long but you know sometimes you just want to kick back you want to have you want to have a hamburger sandwich and a cup of joe hamburger sandwich hey brad that speaking of which uh we have made it a habit not to go to uh restaurants that are chains but this time we uh did something completely different and brad's going to explain why I'm not sure why. I, I, this time, I just wanted a hamburger. And that's you know cool. what? I don't think Fuddruckers, and that's where we went, we went I don't Fud think Fuddruckers gets its due. Fuddruckers came along, it was the first restaurant that really focused on a really good hamburger. I'm not talking McDonald's, I'm not talking Burger King, with where they they make them up an hour and a half ahead of time and they're they're soaking in their own juice. You're waiting for this Bubba. Yeah, yeah, baby. No, this is a place where you go in, you order the burger the way you want it, the size you want it, the, and then the toppings. They got this great oh, thing, but we'll get to that in a Omar. second. By the way, this was the Fuddruckers over there in the woodlands uh, off Grogan Mills Road by Buckthorn uh, Yeah, Buckthorn Place. Place. Yeah. yeah. But, I, you know, I just had the hunkering, nothing yeah. fancy, no more Mexican, no more barbecue, no more fried chicken. Wanted me Ooh, a burger. Yeah. Well, but, you know, and Fuddruckers, I've been there in a while, and I miss it. Uh, I have been there once before, Brad, and I happen to have gotten the uh, fish and chips. Uh, <laughs> Leave it to Mark to go to Fuddruckers and order fish and chips. Don't get the fish and chips. No, no, you want to get a burger. burger. But Brad, uh, this I've got against you, Fuddrucker, like every other place, is when you go in, Brad, there's people behind you, and I don't know what. Oh, I know. They've got elk burgers, buffalo burgers, a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm sitting there, what, what, what does that come with chips? Yeah, that, that is what, that, they need to have a native guide out front they there do. to kind of tell you, you know, what do you like, son? Tell right. me what you like and let me help you. That would help. they got these big, or, big boards up there with all the descriptions, the burgers, you can get a third pound, a half pound, two thirds pounds, a pound, nine pounds, I, I don't know, well, you can get anything you want and it can be made out of beef or bison or buffalo or, or pigs or chickens or, or snake small children. Legs. Some I, of them, you know, yeah. I, well there were some of them. It's it's unbelievable. We both got the quarter pounder by the Negative, way. Negative we did not oh, we got the I one got half pounder. The half pounder we buddy. Double what I just said and that's what we got. You can bet you imagine you. A, that's a pound of beef in between us baby. A pound a, of beef. Double a half pounder? That would be Ooh. like a pound of meat. You know, it? when I was eating that burger, it was so good. It was good. I, I, I'm thinking I might have been able to polish off another one. Well, I only ha ate half of my burger, and I also got onion rings. They swapped them for fries because I got the basket. Delicious onion rings. Yeah, I've good onion rings. Onion. The fries have the skin on. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's real good. But now, they, the, the fixings, once you get your burger, they, they put it out there and they've got this fixings tray. And it mean, it is just a beautiful, it's it's artwork, Mark. It's artwork. Yeah, Brad couldn't get the mayonnaise to work. But well, the that, mayonnaise I, wasn't working right. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. It was this apparatus. You've got to squeeze right. this thing here. You know, I prefer to have a little thing on the table. I, I realize that. It was complicated. Uh, the mustard worked good. But, Brad, there was one, what you call your misnoclaimers. Uh, they had cheese and it said cheddar cheese in a squeeze thing and it looks so much like Velveeta. Brad, you can't get cheddar to be a, uh, a runny thing like that. It's impossible and yet they labored, labeled it cheddar. I, I was upset. But forget that, Fuddruckers, and listen to this. You have got the best soda pop dispenser I have ever seen. You were leery of it when you were first there. I was scared of it, It's, it's scary because it's a big monstrosity with all sorts of labels and things on it and you got to push buttons and, one and spigot. It's one genius. Spigot, all of one. these buttons, you get at the ice. The only problem is after you get the ice, you don't know where to set the cup. You got one button and you hit it. You hit Coke and then they've got about 20 different types of Coke. It's genius. The lady behind me had to help me, but uh, after I right. got it, I wanted yeah. to just keep filling up other people's Mark, cups. Mark relies on the kindness of strangers at restaurants mm. wherever we go. That's true. It's, uh, it's really true. Anyway, I, a great burger. I, I, I'm uh, really sold on this. You know what? I think Fuddruckers, when you're looking for something a little bit different and you know you want to go quick, okay, the burger isn't ready, but you don't want it to be ready. Place. You want to make it fresh to order, put all the toppings you want, sit back, 
you can watch a little widescreen TV. They got, you know, they got some TVs. They got some artifacts. Or look at your Kindle. He spent uh, an hour showing me his Kindle. Christmas present. Oh, it was really great. Uh, by the way, ten bucks for a burger basket. It's steeper than what you call your Burger King and other place, but it is a. But it's a whole burger. lot better, Mark. It's a whole lot better. If it's, you haven't been to Fuddruckers in a while. Go. We recommend it. I recommend it. You recommend it? I recommend it. Did you mention it was a half a pound of beef? It was uh, each. Yeah. Each. Get yourself a hamburger sandwich and a cup of joe. Just yeah. like the old days, folks. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And Jake's Peruvian uh, guitar picks. They're you the get best, em. ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I'm Brad Meyer, restaurant critic for Houston Community Newspapers. I'm Mark Hedder, columnist for The Courier and The Villager. Next yes, time. Yes, he is. Bon oh, appetit. Feel this. It's actually got what you call your... Uh, no, no, no. It's got a uh, great camp.